as you can see, I've got the water on already with the lid to stop steam escaping. And I have onions, what have oil in it as well. This is where the garlic chopping goes really, really wrong. You should know that I am just winging this recipe right now. I have no <laughs> idea if it's going to turn out anything like something I want to eat. I'm going to cut my hand off, I can feel it. Oh, okay, okay. I've seen them do this on the telly, it's okay. Oh, so I'm sticking to the knife. This doesn't happen on Kitchen Nightmares. Ugh, cut, you little slag. Uh, that'll have to do, that'll have to do. Carrots in there as well. Now we're going to add some Syrio chopped tomatoes with a little caption at the bottom, which as you can see means legit Italian. Look at all that Italian. Ooh, this just... Oh, that didn't sound too good. Oh well, it's done now. Hey, would you look at that? The water's boiling. Oh, excitement. So now what we do is we get this load of pasta and put it in there without dropping a load of it on the stove. It's okay. I've seen people do this on chef shows. They know what they're doing. Whoa, that's a little bit much. Okay, that's a lot. Oh no, I'm gonna get drunk off pasta. This might be completely against the rules of pasta. Works for me. Just put the pasta back on and it's all in there and stuff. Kind of not whiny anymore because I found out that the alcohol boils off. So I'm not going to get drunk on pasta. Yep. Pretty sure that's how you do it. I mean I've never really experimented with mixed herbs before but I'm quite sure you just plonk it in the sauce like that. Spaghetti is looking very spaghetti-like. That's a lot of pasta. This my friends is a feast for both the taste buds and the eyes. Like some kind of tasty picture or something, I don't know. Who am I joking? That looks like crap. 